Hey, we've had lots of questions as to how we tie the McAhmed knot after making a surclaw suture. So in this video, I'm going to show you how we tie and break down the McAhmed knot, named after a combination of uh, Dr. McCannell and Ike Ahmed. So at the completion of the surclaw suture, we're going to make a 311 knot. And this is the part that's similar to the McCannell. We're tying both ends through a single uh, paracentesis. Both ends of the suture are protruding through a single paracentesis. Now we're going to use an intraocular tire to grab onto one end of that suture. So we're pulling the knot or the row of three into the eye. I'm going to grab one end of the suture with a traditional tying forcep outside the eye, then use an intraocular tying forcep to grab the other end of the suture inside the eye. So you can see here, if we put a little overlay in, through our single paracentesis, we've got one end of the suture being held outside the eye by a tying forcep. The other end of that suture is held inside the eye uh, with the intraocular tire. And then we can pull opposite directions, one inside the eye and one outside the eye, and carefully constrict the pupil without putting any pressure on the iris or cheese wiring the, uh, the surclaw suture. Since this is a 3-1-1 suture, you've got to repeat that motion two more times, uh, each time throwing the single throw and then grabbing one suture outside the eye, the other inside the eye, and tightening up your, your suture. The only thing to be cautious of is on occasion that second throw uh, will still allow a little constriction of the, of the pupil. So once the suture is tied and you're happy with the pupil size, you'll end up cutting the ends of the suture using an intraocular scissor. You'll then need to remove the viscoelastic. In this case, I'm going to use a bimanual IA, but the suture is completed. So I hope that you've uh, understood and can now go back and tie your McAhmed knot. Uh, thank you very much for watching.